Chris here with Barnyard Outdoors. I'm doing another review. Boundless Voyage, another Boundless Voyage project here. Let's take a look at this thing and uh, see what I think of this. All right, what I've got here is the Boundless Voyage. This is their 1,000 milliliter titanium frying pan. And just like their other products, it comes in a nice box. It includes a nice little mesh stuff sack for it. And what else can I say, really? It's a frying pan. Oh, no, this is not just a, a frying pan, right? It's, you know, standard frying pan stuff. But look at this comes with a lid. Ah, oh, I love it when companies do this. So titanium fry pan with a lid. That is just nice. That is very nice. So I'll go over the specs with you on this. They build this as a 7.5 inch fry pan, titanium fry pan. And it is, you know, it's 7.5 on the top distance, but it's got a little curve on the bottom here. And what I found in the bottom, it's, it's more like six and a half maybe 6.75 inches, um, but it's it's a nice, very light fry pan. Let's put this on the scale and uh, and see what everything weighs because for some reason people like this and now that I have a scale, I should, I should probably use it. All right, I've got that zeroed out. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of the pieces. We'll start with the mesh stuff sack. And that comes in at 0.7 ounces. The fry pan itself, 5.5 ounces. And if we add the lid to it, it's 8.2. So that's that's not bad. It's nice and lightweight. The lid on its own, 2.8. We'll put everything back in the stuff sack if you're if you're taking everything with you. So you can see what all that weighs. And that is 8.9 ounces. So very lightweight. It's a, it's a nice little piece of kit. If you're looking for a titanium fry pan um, that's, that's a smaller size, usually most fry pans, the small ones for camping are either, uh, either like eight inches or, uh, or they're really tiny. I mean, I've got I've got some nice little fry pans, but they're they're six inches or less, and that's that gets a little tough if you're trying to cook for more than one. The one thing that I really do like about this is this lid. This lid gives you a lot of functionality that uh, I don't think a lot of people think about when they're out cooking and camping in the woods. One of the things is if you put this on a campfire and you're worried about ashes go getting into your food from the fire, you just throw the lid on it. It's perfect. Perfect, keeps everything nice and clean on the inside um, in case there's a bunch of stuff flying around. Or if you live where I do in the Midwest where you gotta deal with bugs, you're not gonna want this thing cooking something and then have flies and stuff landing in it and doing their business in there. Nobody likes that. Uh, it does have some holes in it there that uh, are good if you're, if you're steaming something. So it will release the steam. The other thing I really like about this is the lid actually has a little bit of a lip around it and sits down inside the fry pan. So if you were to do something where maybe you're doing some baking or cooking a pizza or something in the fry pan where you're putting hot coals on top because you want to cook the top more than the bottom, um, it's perfect for that because you can still pick it up and uh, the coals aren't going to fall off or fall into your food when you try to remove this. Um, the only thing that it is missing that some of their products have is uh, the little plastic or silicone thing that mounts around the handle, but I don't think that's a big deal. It's nice and wide. You can easily fit a spoon or a fork in there to grab it and lift it off. And then it's just got your standard you know, butterfly handles here that fold into the side. It's uh, it, it looks like a really well-made uh, brine pan. Um, I can't wait to get this out and try it out. This will be part of my kit when I go out on uh, probably my next camp out. I will try this out on uh, on my camp stove and uh, and make something in it because it's just a it's a, just a great piece of kit. I think Boundless Voyage is really doing a good job um, when it comes to a variety of items. 
um, and including all the extra things that you like. I mean, the, having a decent stuff sack is nice, kind of to keep things clean. Um, the lid is a great add-on. It's something you can take with you or you don't have to if you don't want to. And it's very light. Um, I'm really impressed with this product. Uh, I've been impressed with all of their products so far. So there you have it. Just a quick video and a quick look at this fry pan. I will be testing it out and that'll be in some other videos that I'm doing coming up this summer. If you have any questions about this product or if you have any questions about other Boundless Voyage, Voyage products, let me know. I've got uh, I've got a couple titanium plates I'm going to be trying out of theirs. Um, plus, I got their little Sierra cups, which uh, which are actually really nice with the folding handle. They work good for a bowl, uh, and you can also use them for cooking. And once again, it's another product that has the lid on it, which I thought was very impressive. Um, so I will do a review video of those coming up as well. So if you like the Boundless Voyage titanium products want to learn more about them i did create a playlist on my channel that you can look at all the reviews i've done on their products i've got a couple other ones that i'll be doing here soon so uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see some of their other products and uh, and join me on some of my camping adventures this summer the weather's finally getting decent around here and i got a camp out coming up in a few weeks i'm actually going to take the kayaks out so it'll be nice to get the get those out on the water and enjoy some of this nice weather we're finally getting. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody for watching.